Good morning, Ramazan. Good morning, Anna. Beautiful sky this morning, guys. Do I have any audio? Can you? There's some kind of a duck or something behind me. Good morning, Chad. Hello, David. Hello, my friends. Hey, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thought it was going to be a boring sunrise. Hi, Chad. Thanks for inviting your followers. Is this thing on? <laughs> I thought it would be kind of boring, but there's some color. We got a little bit of color. I'm excited. Water is really low. music too loud. Let me turn it down a little. Guys, all the nature sounds that you hear are live. They're not part of the recording. Only the flute is recorded. Thanks, Mark. It's really pretty. So you can see how low the water is. And we've got the rocks back. The rocks are starting to show. You can't see them, they're in the shadows. I can see them, but you can't see them on the camera. Hmm. Tee wee. What a smiley face, Tee wee. Hello, Rick. Hello, Boston camera. Everyone follow Boston camera, guys. Ah, moment of zen, yes. <laughs> Ramazan, this amazing flautist over in Turkey, guys. He just threw up all these emojis. Follow him, he's, he's an amazing musician. Ramazan, I want you to save your replay so I can play your music in my scopes. You can feel the wind. Can you, Dewey? Good morning, Andrew. How are you, my friend? How are you today? Another awesome scoper right there, guys. And I'm getting kisses from Smicy. You are, you're a ta talented musician. I can't believe, do you have more than 19 followers now, Ramazan? A few nice clouds. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of color. I thought it was going to be boring, but uh, I put hashtag talk in my title. Hi, Carol. Because I'm really um, concerned, distressed. I don't know. Not really anxious or worried. I'm just sad. I think. Hey, welcome, Asaya. First day on Periscope. Tomorrow you're playing. Okay, save your replays. Don't delete them. They're awesome. Your music is amazing. Um, because of the protest, actually, Andrew, I'm more upset about... Um, I think... Um, hmm, I put talk in my title now. I'm going to struggle to find my words. No longer following people that you follow. Really, David, why? It is what it is. Yes. Thank you, Rick. Rick will help me find my words. Yeah, wait and see, guys. Wait and see. There's panic in the streets. And we have a whole system set up to, you know, create some kind of balance. And um, I'm really proud that I'm in New Hampshire. And Periscope thing must be David. I haven't had that issue. I unfollowed someone by mistake but I don't know who it was because I was you know when you hit that button and you realize you hit the wrong button exactly Rick and New Hampshire hey Chica we sent four women we sent four 
ladies to Washington. Historic elections for us. Welcome Aman O2, first scoper, and Isaiah. First day on scope. Hey Chica. That's so cool when it tells you they're new. Michael. Oh my gosh. Michael and Chica, I did the Facebook quiz and apparently you two are my spiritual parents. <laughs> Check it out. It's on Facebook. It must be true. Hey, Tony. This is a lake. Yes. DWI. What it, do you have a name? DWI? I have a sex bot. Yeah. I, I have a sex bot. I am a sex bot. I get that a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Rick, are you going to um, Emerson? I think I saw that. Where our two worlds are going to collide. I was going to that. I think I might still go. Yes. Yep. You know, I'm a huge Food Fight supporter. So, you might see me there. I will we'll definitely see. Yes, yep. Market basket. Market basket. Hey, Polly. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Maret. Andrew, do the new to scope notification. I don't know, Tony. I'm on. I'm on an iPhone. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Tim. I'm losing the color now. Hello, Dave. I I will. I'm considering it, actually. If, if I if I can make it down there, timing might be an issue. But we will definitely, we'll, even if I don't go, you'll be, you'll be definitely interacting with people that I interact with, so it's kind of cool. Boston No More. Boston No More? What? No, 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 I'm, I'm in New Hampshire. Oh, what? Wait, what? Does that mean we're going to see more scoping from you? Everyone follow Boston underscore camera. Breaking news. Wait, could be a featured scope. <laughs> Hot Papa is back on the market, people. No, it's okay. I, If you want to follow some awesome Boston scopers, follow Boston underscore camera. I'll show you all around the Boston area. <laughs> right, Mark? <laughs> kind of a beautiful view. Thank you, Renaissance. A free Rick. Partially freed Rick. And the sex bots are out in full force. Tim's excited. He's inviting his followers. Yes, Ramazan, I look forward to your music tomorrow. Save your replays. Everyone follow Ramazan. Her awesome flute. He's an awesome flautist. Yeah, the view is awesome. More, more sex bots just started following Rick. Yes, partially, but not totally. It is beautiful. Head kisses, head kisses. The bots are like in the view too. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a perfect distraction. Oh, you can see the rocks kind of now. Not really. The view is much better over here. Uh, folk music one, everyone follow Michael. That's because I'll say your name and no one knows who you are. Folk music, Michael. It's, it's like when, uh, good morning, baseball, New York. Oh gosh. Good morning, AJ. One of the few sco scopes not doing prayers. Yes, no protests here. Ah, uh, the sex box. Not following you, Michael. Everyone follow folk music one, especially sex bots. Without being accused of being a sex bot. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Shh. No, you, they should follow you. And Carol. And Nilsa is here. Good morning, head kisses. Your name is Ladybug. Good morning, Ladybug. So, um, I just want to, I wanted to say, 
so much. I don't know. Stop the fight. If uh, you know who did a great scope yesterday? <laughs> no, no. Yes, the announcement is Boston underscore camera is single again. This is this is breaking news. Should be a featured scope. Hot Papa is back on the market. And he'll be scoping even more, so give him a follow. Play the drums. <laughs> um, but you should also check out Tim David Magic. He did a pretty prolific, prolific scope yesterday about the election. And Greg is here. Um, and I quoted him in my IG post. Uh, I think he really sort of broke down why Trump was probably elected and um, had a really good recap at the end, I think, about what's going on. Good morning, Namastvan. Everyone follow Namastvan. And um, especially in light of the protests, um, I think what's really concerning is the people who are reacting or acting out in hate, which is the very thing that they're protesting, right? So keep it peaceful, people. Vote with your actions. Vote with your actions. Here come the loons. Oh my gosh, guys, the loons are coming right in front of us. They're coming right in front of us. I'm not going to point my camera at them. I don't want them to. Oh my gosh, the loons are gathering. One, two, three, four. We have four. We have four loons. Hello from United Arab Emirates. What is your name? Here, I'm going to try to zoom. Hold up. The loons are gathering. If I point the camera at them, let me zoom and then be easier. Good morning, Jesno. There are the loons, guys. The loons voted. We have loons. Yay! This makes me so happy. It means winter's coming. They're fishing, um, they're starting to migrate, and loons will, will kind of settle, they'll rest in certain on certain lakes. And um, we have three loons on this lake, but it looks like we have a straggler. See, I'm pointing the camera at them, so they're swimming away. This is so awesome. But now they're gonna swim away, so I'll go back to the sun. because they don't know, they don't know what I'm pointing at them. They don't know it's a camera. Well, they don't know it's a camera, Cheryl. They're just being safe. So, totally understand. It has been a beautiful fall, hasn't it, Polly? But do you see the ripples in the water? The water was really calm, but those are the loons fishing. That's what's making the ripples. It's kind of cool. Acting out in anger is not the answer. Exactly, Anna. I'm on a lake in central New Hampshire. I'm a couple hours north of Boston. Open ripples. Bye, Michael. Are you leaving? Uh, it's peaceful protests are fine. That's, that's awesome. 45% of millennials didn't even vote. And more than that in the primaries. No one's talking about why we had these two candidates. Um, they do it for a social event, yes. But it doesn't seem peaceful exactly, Anna. That's really sad. Eric, has he has a husky that's camera shy, really. <laughs> Remind me of your name again, Faithless Soul. Your first name. People have a right to assemble, exactly. The people breaking windows and burning flags, and that, that's very distressing and sad, David. David, David, just now is David. I will try really hard to remember that. 
But they didn't film it. One guy yelled at me. Said he was fighting. Oh, Cheryl. It's exactly like Brooks said. And you said you voted. If Hillary had adopted Bernie. Or, or, or maybe Hillary, maybe Bernie should have been on the ballot, right? Everyone's talking about that. I woke up with balloons many times. What? Stop talking about it. Just enjoy the sunrise. Exactly. Hillary had some issues. Yes, she did, David. She was not necessarily a strong candidate. I think Bernie, I think it is accurate. Good morning, Susan. I do think it's accurate that Bernie probably would have defeated Trump. Good morning. Yes, exactly. What election? Hello, Susan. It's 30 degrees here, guys. I'm actually, my hands are getting really cold. Hello, Susan. There were a lot of issues, Sean, but um, I'm still very, very proud to be American. Guys, I think that's why I put hashtag talk. I just wanted to put that out there. Very proud. Motivated to get out for her. David, yeah, or maybe they thought she was gonna win, right? Maybe, maybe there were people who thought she was gonna win, so they didn't feel they needed to vote. Chris and David is, I am in New Hampshire. I am in the great state of New Hampshire where we sent four women, four Democratic women to DC, actually creating balance, balance of power, guys. Lots of voices in DC. Polls love, exactly, David. <laughs> Anna, love wins. Guys, love wins. Make love, not war. So many quotes. Um, everyone follow Tim David Magic. Check out his scope from yesterday. Kind of rationalizing maybe a little bit what was happening. What happened with the election. Look at this sun. Oh my gosh. Wow. I like the ripples in the foreground. It uh, shows some movement. It looks less like a picture. You can tell it's live. Good morning, Dew. Look at this. Nice, peaceful sunrise. <sighs> Thanks, Anna. What time is it? It must be 6.30 in the morning. It is peaceful, Stephen. <laughs> turn a negative into a positive. A lot of material for Saturday Night Live. I love the sunrise, Chica. 646, oh my goodness. Wow, that's... Even though we turn the clocks back, it's still it's later than I thought. Hi, Anne. Everyone belated happy birthday to at Ashleen Ann. Can I zoom, Naomi? You want a closer look at the sun? Hold on, guys. Like that. I'm not using headphones, any headphones today, Rick, um, because there's no wind and because I have my phone plugged into my battery because it's below freezing and it will shut off. Do I watch, the, I always watch the sunrise before I even started periscoping, yes. I've been watching the sunrise. Do you want to hear my story about my dad? Are there new are there enough new people in here who want to hear my sunrise story? It's not a Patrick Parada, Parada story. <laughs> who is the first sunrise scoper I saw on Periscope? Yes, Ashley and Anne, it was just her birthday. Cheryl's heard half of it. Okay, let me zoom out though. Wow, the sun is bright. Hold up. Hold up, there we go. And Babylon Brook is here. Oh my goodness, thanks for inviting your followers. 
Hi, I'm Anilsa. So I'm going to not ignore the comments, but um, hey, everyone follow Babylon Brook. Inspiring scoper, Babylon Brook, guys, follow Brook. Um, so I'm going to tell you my sunrise story. Someone just asked me how long I've been watching the sunrises. I grew up here in New Hampshire. I am in New Hampshire, guys. I'm in the lakes region of New Hampshire. I'm a couple hours north of Boston. And I grew up hiking in the mountains with my dad and going camping there. I've done some treks and I've told stories about him before. But one of my first earliest memories of getting up and watching the sunrise was when I was a little girl and we were camping in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. And he woke me up because, of course, I was a kid. <laughs> I would have slept right through it. And he woke me up before the sunrise, took my hand, and said, I want to show you something. And we went out outside of the tent. It was a cold morning, not unlike this one. And we were in the shadow of the mountains. And we watched the sunrise together. And he looked down at me and said, isn't that amazing? Do you want to see it again? Do you want to see the sunrise again? And I'm looking up at him and I thought, well, yeah, this is, you know, it, it was amazing. I'm not even talking. And he said, okay, keep up with me. We have to run really fast. And he took my hand and he led me in towards the mountain. So we're running towards the mountain, if you can imagine that. And we're just running really fast into the shadow of the mountain. And because we were running towards the mountain that the sun had just come up behind, of course, we ran into the shadow and then we stopped and we watched the sunrise again. And I got to see the sunrise again. And I thought, this is magic. This is amazing. And then he laughed, grabbed my hand, and we ran into the shadow of the mountain again. I think we watched the sunrise three or maybe even four times that morning. And I thought, my dad is amazing. He's magic. He figured out a way to watch the sunrise over and over and over again. I'll never forget it. Never. And I've been watching the sunrise ever since. And I'm gonna get emotional now because, <laughs> yeah, you guys know I've been struggling. My dad's suffering from the Alzheimer's and dementia. It's been, it's been a difficult year. <clears throat> but, love my dad, yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite dad stories. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. Yeah, it's been a tough year. It's been a really tough very, very hard to uh, lose someone you love who's still there. He's still physically there. And he remembers who I am once in a while. And we laugh a lot. <clears throat> we laugh a lot. But it's hard. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah, memories are awesome. It's the longest goodbye, everything, everything everyone says. It's, it's the most incredibly painful thing I've been through, I think. But, you know, we have our moments. <coughs> so, holidays are going to be tough. I think a lot of people always have a hard time during the holidays. Mom for 15 years, oh my gosh, wow. So, yeah, a lot of people are very relatable, very sad. Yeah, but it's okay, guys. We're hopeful. We're hopeful at the sunrise because 
The lake does look like it's freezing. It's getting very still. Same issues. Right, David? <clears throat> Thanks, David. Thank you. That's... Thank you. Guys, it's okay. I'm from New Hampshire. Yeah. I was born and raised here. So... Learned... <clears throat> learned a lot of my love for nature and hiking and being outdoors from my dad. Um, so... And the lakes... You know, I'm reminded how, in being strong, my dad, we're always drawn to the water, and um, we would go out on the ocean, and he had a small boat, or we'd go out on the lake, Lake Winnipesaukee, and, um, but he never learned how to swim. It's kind of a crazy thing, but he was so fearless. It's kind of funny. Isn't that wild? Yeah, he just had this thing about the water, yeah. So we were always, we would be on the water and we would go fishing or we would be by the water. Yeah, I, yeah, I even have this story about how we were in the middle of Lake Winnipesaukee and the boat tipped over and we righted the boat together, but um, he was just hugging this flotation cushion. It's pretty wild. But uh, no, he didn't wear a life jacket. No, no. <laughs> No, he was, he was a proud man and adventurer, risk taker. I don't, I don't know what the swimming thing was. It's kind of, I regret not having asked him about that while he still had his mind. Yeah, great memories. I don't know, maybe. I do have audio recordings of him. Right, Polly? Very <laughs> independent strong. Uh, I did, I do have a few audio recordings. I, I, um, had some, the mindfulness to, to think to record him. Actually, um, Annie Custer, who's going to Congress, going back to politics, her mom, Susan McLean, suffered from Alzheimer's. She wrote a book about it, and she talked about, um, how she took audio recordings. She would do audio sessions with her mom while, while, while her mom still had her memories. And uh, kind of gave me the idea, actually, to do some recordings with my dad. Close by is Kenny Bunk in New York, Maine. Yes. You recorded everything. Yes. I, I feel like I started way too late, but I have some recordings. His disease progressed very, very quickly. Life jackets are for metrosexuals. <laughs> David, that's too funny. <clears throat> 85th birthday, and you recorded him. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I haven't listened to the recordings, but I do have them. I am partially French. DG photo magic, actually. Toy, you can't stay on? What's going on? Scope has been so flaky. Recording stories is a good thing for everyone, yeah. Such a great idea. Um, what an awesome sunrise. Always hope with every sunrise. Just hopeful. It's a new day. And now there's no comments. You guys are awesome. I think we can see. And you can get a double sunrise on the water. I know. It's amazing. I'm going to see if I can show you the rocks. I love flute music. Luke is here. One of my favorite Aussies. So we can starting to see the rock over there. The loons love to fish by that rock. They love that rock. It's such a great fishing spot. We have lots of sex spots this morning. And you 
get a sunrise, and you get a sunrise, exactly. And there's the sun. It's beautiful. Beautiful day, guys. So now, hey, Eric is here. Hello, fish fan. Just gorgeous, peaceful morning. When is Mind Cuddle Monday coming back? I know, Eric, I need to do that. Thanks, dude. Thanks for being here and sharing this sunrise with me. I think I'm gonna start saying my goodbyes to you guys. On Golden Pond. Yes, it was filmed not too far from here. Actually, one of the many lakes. There's just shy of 300 lakes in this immediate area and almost a thousand in New Hampshire. It's such a beautiful state. Lots of natural beauty here. Bye, Anna. I'm going to. Yes, Eric, I am. I have to go. I have to get going. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing the sunrise with me, Anna. Hello, goodbye, Mr. Ronin. Thank you, David. Same, my friend, same. Peace and love, guys. Vote with your actions. Vote with peace, peaceful actions, guys. Don't don't react in anger and hate. Those are the things you're protesting. Okay. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thanks for being here, Polly. Bye, Eric. Bye, DJ. Bye, Luke. Bye Tim, bye Anna, bye Chica, if you're still here. Bye David, April Soul. Bye Troy. Bye Anne, happy birthday. Bye Susan. Goodbye Mark, straight out of Iowa. Have an amazing day, guys. Be the people you can be proud of, exactly. Bye DG, photo magic. Yeah.